Hello once again YouTube, Chris the Nightbringer here bringing you some Star Made dev news. So there has been an update to the dev build and this was definitely one that I needed to cover because some incredible features have been added recently, um, such as faction points. The faction point system is now in the game. Claiming of territory is now in the game. And uh, the bonuses and consequences uh, that come with that system as well as scanners, uh, which are a very important new system that are being added. So we're going to take a look at some of these systems and a few other things. So, uh, here we can see that I'm on a space station uh, just randomly next to spawn. There's my old stuff that I was displaying other videos on. So, uh, real quick, we'll take a look uh, at this faction block. You can see that uh, by placing down a faction block, we can claim a galaxy system, which I have done, and I believe I just received some faction points. I'll have to check, uh, and it says I can revoke galaxy system ownership. So, if you're wondering what that means, it basically means that in the galaxy, there's going to be a, a galaxy system, and then there's going to be sectors inside that system. Right now, I'm in sector 223, and it should be, uh, you know, a similar system that everyone is familiar with already. You know, it's uh, it's basically 16 by 16 by 16 sectors inside of a galaxy system, uh, which is uh, I don't know uh, why they decided to change it to a galaxy system, but maybe there will be other types of system. Perhaps void systems will be a thing, and perhaps you can even uh, uh, purchase void systems. Who knows? Uh, I believe galaxies will be, uh, you know, clustered up in box shapes as well, kind of the way star systems are, you know, there's a star, there's the area around it, and then there's uh, galaxy systems uh, on a similar, you know, structure. I don't know yet. This galaxy system is not implemented yet, but it will be soon. So as you can tell, by placing down a faction block on this station, I can buy space. I can pay for space. What do I pay for it with? Faction points, of course, and we'll get into this right now. So I have faction points right here, and I have... 100 faction points. Now as you can see the next faction point turn is in 59 minutes. I just missed it. It told me up there in the corner that it had just given a uh, faction point turn. And essentially what this means is that every faction point turn uh, the the uh, calculations are done for how many faction points you uh, are receiving and how many faction points you are losing. So I currently have 100 faction points uh, right now and I believe uh, that's how much you start off with and how much you get uh, when you create a faction. There are a total of one members in my uh, my faction right now. There are online members zero. I assume this is a bug and it's not counting me uh, because I am the founder of the faction, of course. If I changed my rank to something lower, perhaps I would show up, perhaps I would not. I don't know. Perhaps this only shows other faction members that are online uh, and disincluding myself. That would be interesting. It also tells you the offline faction members, inactive faction members. Essentially, inactive faction members are people that have not done or have not played the game for at least 10 minutes within a 48 hour period, or so says the dev post. Uh, by the way, a link to the dev post for this will be provided in the description below. Last points gained from offline. This tells you how many points you've gained from the currently offline members. And from the currently online members, last count deaths. Uh, deaths count toward a negative impact on your faction points. Uh, if members die in your faction, they will lose points, or your faction will lose points on the next faction turn. Uh, however, um, you can gain faction points by owning galaxy systems, which is a star system, which I am in right now. I gain faction points by owning this system. And I, I don't think it's changed because I uh, either the first system is free, or uh, uh, the cost has completely uh, been nullified by the amount of faction points that I was rewarded. I do not know. Uh, I do not know the specifics on that. I'm pretty sure the first system, however, is free, and the home base has a different faction cost than any other system that you uh, place down. So, what else is there? Controlled galaxy systems? Now this says zero, but the truth of the matter is that uh, I do own this system, and it tells you right up here, New Eden Fleetworks, which is the faction that I created and I claimed with this uh, faction, this system, right? This uh, star system. Uh, last spend on territory. This is, again, not telling me everything, and again, these informational little bits right here, these statistics may not be currently functioning. It was mentioned in the dev build that uh, or the dev post that these uh, little bits of information may not be uh, currently uh, implemented yet, these uh, statistics. 
Last spend on territory based on uh, galaxy center distance, the average distance, and the flat amount. So each uh, system that you own costs a flat cost. The, uh, there is also an additional cost based on the, uh, the average distance of your um, systems, I guess, from the galaxy center. The closer to the center, the less it will cost. And so there is a third cost on top of all of that. So there are three uh, costs for owning systems when it comes to, you know, calculating the price. Last galaxy radius. Now I don't know what this is all about, but I am assuming this is the total radius of your systems. I have no idea. Uh, net faction income without the deaths is calculated here, and it will also display systems that you own. Uh, I hope in the future there are ways to name systems because that would be quite cool. Uh, then we can actually have names and uh, more easily identify systems in the future. Uh, I believe some of these little bits of information right here are also new, but I'm not sure. Uh, founder, and it does tell my name right here, Van Helsing, of course, and of course I can change all the options for that, but it also tells me that I'm currently active, when I was active, and the time, uh, as well as the date. So, holy crap guys, that's insane! That is insane. Um... I don't think there's anything else. I don't know if news posts was a thing. I believe uh, the faction will tell you information uh, when uh, things like uh, claiming systems and losing star systems. Uh, I don't know if news posts was already a thing for your faction. It's entirely possible. I have set my personal enemy to be swag. Um, <laughs> a faction is my description. So I don't know which parts of that was new. I believe the, um, uh, the news post was new, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I've entered the gravity of this base, although I'm not actually sticking around here. The next thing we're going to look at is uh, scanners. So scanners are a new thing. Uh, they are currently uh, capable of being placed on ships as well as stations. They require a decent amount, or, amount of power to get functioning right now, uh, which means that if you have a scanner on your ship, and I'm going to warn you guys right now, if you have a scanner on your ship, make sure you are capable of supporting its power requirement because it will automatically recharge. And if you have it automatically recharging and you run out of power, you will never get power back. Um, and I'm not sure if there's a way I can display this. I can try and do it in a few moments by removing some blocks from my uh, my ship here. And actually, I could probably do that right now. So let's uh, remove some of these blocks. I get rid of some of this uh, uh, these power tanks. So if we go into nav, actually no, you can see there that uh, I have scanner computer on my hotbar in the number one slot, and it is fully charged. It automatically charges uh, as you uh, as you fly around. It, uh, you don't have to charge it up manually. And if I click on it, it says scanning. And it says scan data received. Check your navigation panels. If we go into nav and we go into scan history, you can see that I've done a few scans in the past. It tells you the time of the scan scanned from this location. The scan range, now I'm not sure if this is a radius or a diameter for the scan range centered on your ship. Uh, it's either a radius of 4 or a radius of 2. Uh, galaxy system ownership, now when I scanned it, it told me that this system was unclaimed. But when I put down my faction, ter uh, faction block and claimed the system, it told me that it was my own territory, which is great. Uh, it also tells you that there is a mining bonus multiplicator in the system. Uh, for unclaimed territory, this multiplication is uh, by 1. For claiming the territory, it is 6. And for entering hostile space, I believe it is something else, I'm not sure. Galaxy System Owner Station Position does not tell you because I do not have a home base. So actually, let's uh, come down here real quick and we'll put the... Uh, we'll set this as the home base. We have set this as the home base. And the information has been posted to the faction board, which I don't actually believe has happened yet. Yeah, it doesn't seem like... It even says there's still no home base, which is a... Uh... Ah, okay, system default has been claimed by... Okay, so there is a news type of bit right here for your personal faction information. Systems default 000 has been claimed by Van Helsing. Nice. So it tells you who used to own it, it appears. And when this uh, little uh, bit happened, faction home set to NEF home base by Van Helsing. Nice. Okay. So if we uh, scan it again, we'll uh, receive new information. And uh, it's uh, saying galaxy system owner position. Okay. So um, 
000. I am in system 000, so maybe it just defaulted to that in the previous scans. And scanned activity, no activity. So basically, the purpose of using a ship scanner is so that you can detect enemies uh, and, you know, find out where the enemies are uh, after exploring space a little bit because the, sh the scanner will not tell you where the enemies are, I believe. I think it will only tell you if there are enemies present and you will have to find out their location over the course of time. So I'm going to remove some of the blocks here and you'll see just how high the power requirement is. I'm actually going to remove like 90% of the ship. It also does require a uh, percentage of your ship's total uh, block count in order to function at a, a much higher efficiency, I believe. However, it is not necessary to reach that uh, efficiency cap in order to activate these scanners. So let's scan it one more time and you'll see that my power is draining quite quickly. It's at 5,000 consumption per second. And you'll see that once I hit no energy, I will get stuck. I will get stuck with a power outage on my ship. So this is something you gotta be careful of, guys. If you, uh, if you accidentally um, uh, make uh, your power consumption a little too low, you'll, uh, you'll run out and you won't be able to recover. In fact, uh, I don't believe I'll be able to move properly because of this power outage. You know, I can't even... It's, you know, it's sending me all over the place. I'm doing all sorts of funky stuff. So uh, let's add a few more blocks. Hopefully this gets it going. Please? <laughs> Please get it going? Yeah, there we go. See, you need a, a decent amount of blocks in order to get this functioning. And I believe I have as many scanner blocks as I need. This is obviously a temporary texture. Uh, you can currently buy them from a uh, shop. So let's go over here and I'll show you what section they're under. It is under the general section because you can place this on both the uh, space stations and ships. So we got the scanner computer. Value is determined by the longest touching group dimension. 10 has reduced the time needed to scan either X, Y, or Z versus the longest dimension of the structure it is placed on. Longest group dimension versus the longest dimension of the structure it is placed on. Okay, I have absolute, absolutely no idea what that means. I'm assuming it means that in order to have... Um, an antenna, you need to place it against the longest dimension, or with the longest dimension. Uh, I'm, I'm just failing at English, I guess, so whatever. That's not what I wanted. Uh, shop. Scanner antenna. So there you have it, they're in the shop under the general tab. Now, the last thing I wanted to show you guys was uh, mining, because mining is currently one of the bonuses you get for using these systems. Where did my mining computer go? What the heck? Oh, this is the mining computer. For some reason, I thought it wasn't. So, uh, now I have right here some ore. I'm going to drop it, and we'll fly past it. And I will show you what happens when you claim a system when it comes to mining. So, we did see there on the faction tab that it said something about uh, a mining boost. If I, if I mine this one single block, and I check my inventory, I have 12 of them. I picked that up again. I didn't intend to. If we mine one single block, and we check my inventory, I have six. And that's because there is a six uh, multiplica multiplication, <laughs> uh, six uh, times multiplier on the mining amounts that you receive when mining in currently owned territory. I think on I don't, I'm not sure if that's a little high. I have no idea how well the crafting system works with the current distribution of resources. Of course, that will all change with the future update. Um, if you want to read more about this information, there will be a link for the uh, the dev post in the description below and you will be able to gather some more information about all this type of stuff. But I currently just wanted to go over the things that are currently in the game, things that we could currently see, uh, and actually, uh, by moving around in a star system, you will uh, notice, um, as a last thing that I want to mention, that uh, it will tell you who owns the system and what system you are in. So there you go. The system is owned by your own faction, New Eden Fleetworks. Yay! If I move out to... Uh, Let's see, uh, I guess I haven't done that command yet, change, sorry for the long video guys, sector for human housing, uh, blah, oh, that's not a number, blah, blah, what, I misspelled sector, there we go, 
The system is neutral, use a faction block to claim it. So there you have it, you can find out, uh, uh, you, you can uh, claim individual systems by going to them and placing down a single faction block. Uh, to be honest, I hope there's a little bit more to this system. I hope it takes a little bit more work in order to claim a system. Uh, because, you know, I can claim a system without a hassle just by traveling to it. So long as I can spend the faction points on it, I will keep the system. Um, so, I hope that uh, you guys are excited as I am, because this is a really awesome system that's being implemented, you know, some awesome stuff, and I cannot wait to check out the dev build where the new universe structure is in place because I totally want to see that, and I'm really pumped because this was an amazing update. Something that I've been asking for personally, uh, which was the scanners, has just been implemented, and I cannot wait to put them on my ship. So thanks for watching. I am Chris the Nightbringer. Uh, subscribe for more of these updates as well as uh, the other content I post on this channel, all very much Star Maid related, and I will see you all next time.